Okay. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Version walkthrough. Yes, I said a version. And it's funny because it's the 2022, maybe 2023 edition. Who knows? Let's find out. Anywho, in our last episode, we defeated our seventh gym battle, or gym leader. And, uh, well, take a look at this. That's right. I'm feeling a little heavy. That's right, seven badges right there, but there was a little something funny going on. And apparently, something's going on at the radio tower because look at this. Yeah. Team Rocket, after three years of preparation, we have risen again. From the ashes. Giovanni, can you hear us? We did it! Hmm, where is our boss? Well, they're trying to figure they're trying to figure that one out, but yes. Apparently, Team Rocket has risen from whatever ashes they came from, and now it is finally time for us to go back to Goldenrod City, so let's go right ahead and do that. And yes, we do have fly. Okay, so here we are. I'm back, baby. So here is Goldenrod City, and there is a little something-something going on. As you guys can see, Team Rocket has run amok. Pokemon, nothing more than just tools for making money. Everybody is gone. Nobody is walking around here. We can't go anywhere. These guys are literally all over the place. Stay out of the way. Beat it. Hmm. Our dream was, was soon come true. It was such a long struggle. Hmm. Okay, well, you're about to find out. You're about to find out who stopped you, who ended the Cobras and all that stuff. I'm just saying. You know, I've been watching The Simpsons. You'll never stop the Cobras, the motorcycle episode. Keep, take a look at it. Anywho, let's see. Uh, this guy has been here for, like, forever. So this is the radio tower. What do you... <laughs> yeah, he's been there. And this guy... Take over the radio tower? What? It's none of your business. Okay, so we literally have to go into the radio tower and see what's going on. Hello! I'm sorry, but we're not offering any tours right today. I wonder why. And, oh yeah, there's a PC right there, so if you guys want to switch up some Pokemon, there it is. Let's go right ahead and start battling. We've finally taken over the radio tower. Now everyone will get the experience the true terror of Team Rocket. We'll show you how scary we are. I'm looking at him right now, and I'm just like, yeah, sure, whatever. Okay. Bring it on. You got two Pokemon. Time to clap these Pokemon. Mmm. -hmm. There's Eradicate. And here's Hera. The Hell Dog. Okay. Bring it on. Rock Smash. It's still a fighting type move to you guys. And this one does some pretty good damage. And here comes a scary phase attack. Because, of course, Radicate doesn't have enough speed as it is. So, here comes a quick attack, which is. Yeah, it's very, very move. And bam. Rock Smash. For the win. Oh, wow. Huh. Never mind. Here comes another Rock Smash. And Hyper Fang hits me pretty hard. But I hit it harder with Rock Smash. And just like that, Raticate has been defeated. And we get some extremely high experience points and lucky mooching off us. And well, he's gonna be coming out with a Raticate, so let's go right ahead and choose another Pokemon right here. Let's go with Lucky. Let it grow to level 30 right there and then. So let's go, Lucky. Taking on this Raticate right here. Let's use Rollout. And. Okay, seriously, scary. Like, I got a slow team. Stop doing that. So there we go. You're about to experience what Whitney does here in this town. This is in honor of you, Whitney. Here we go. Roll out attack. What are you going to do when Quagsire runs all over you? Oh, nothing. That's a Hulk Hogan quote. And there we go. Number three. Say goodbye. Alrighty. And yes. Look at that. Too strong, we we must watch you. Mm-hmm. You definitely should watch us. You're too strong. Our plan could be ruined. I must warn the others. Well, good luck with that. So let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Thankfully we have uh, you know quite a few super potions. So this will actually help us out right here. So let's go into the second floor. And as you guys can see, there's panic going around. Why would they want to take over the radio tower? And here's Buena. Huh? Today's password? Help! Of course! Alright. You gotta love the, the... You gotta love the theme song that these guys have. Inside the theme song. It's 
so fun. Okay, so here we go, taking on... That's right, Cassidy of Team Rocket. And I think I asked this question a while back, guys. Whatever happened to Cassidy and Butch of uh, Team Rocket? Comment down below. So let's go, headbutt attack. And Arbok. Still, well, Arbok has flinched, so let's go right ahead and continue to make it flinch. There we go, headbutt attack again. And here comes that poison sting. And thankfully it did not get us all poisoned. So here we go again, another headbutt. And just like that, Arbok has been defeated. Yeah, buddy, okay. And uh, Lucky is another Pokemon that grows a level 30. Yes. <laughs> Who are you? I don't know. You beat me, and I won't forget it. Hmm. Okay. Well, you guys are about to forget all this. You guys are going to want to forget all this, because it's going to get bad. It's going to get worse. It's going to get bad before it gets even better. Okay, so here we go, taking on Team Rocket Grunt, and he's coming out with his ra ta 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 Alright. And here we have our hero ra ra And, well, here comes a quick attack. Not so strong. But here comes Ember Attack. And... Well, look at that. Raditzer has been defeated. And Hera has, you know, it's going to get some points right here. So, while I'm beating everybody right here, let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about what's going to happen right here. Because, I, you know, after I did the last episode, I was actually pre-planning everything for what what may come ahead. And we, 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 we are looking at some pretty good episodes right here, guys. All of which, you know, we're going to end at the end of November, which, you know, if you guys are watching this right now, it's probably November. As I'm doing this, it's currently November. And, well, not no, currently November, but it's the end of, uh, it's towards the end of October, yes. And, well, look at that. More points. And here comes another ratatata. Let's see what you got. And... Alrighty. Let's see... Let's see, let's see. Let's go with an ember attack right here, and crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. Here comes a, a quick attack right here. So, let's go. Mm-hmm. And Radita has been defeated. More points for us. Hey, right, it's taking a while for you to get to level 30. I mean, Quagsire did it. Why can't you? I'm just saying. And here we go. Another Radita tell wiggling its booty. And here we go. Quick attack again. Jeebus, criminy, this Radita. These Raditas are going quick attacks and all that stuff. They don't know that the Hera has a trainer that loves him. Or her, I should say. And there we go. And we have defeated another Grunt. Alrighty, cool. You think you're a hero? Mother Grabber, I am a hero. Okay. And speaking of being a hero, we gotta do hero things. We gotta actually... We have to actually give a super potion here because, well, you know, Hera. 90 HP and all that stuff. Okay. Bring it on. Hey, hey! Keep out of our way! No. Okay, so here we go. Take it on a grog grunt. I will not keep out of your way. Hey, bring it on. Here comes Hera. Hera, let's go. Get it. Ember attack. What do you think? Alrighty, so... Oh, wow, it nearly beats him, and we got away from that supersonic, so let's go right ahead and go for another Ember attack right here. And... just like that. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Let's see, we got another Zubat. I think we... I think Kara can actually do it. And, well... Let's go for Bite Attacks now. Let's try not to waste any more Embers. And, well, that was, uh, okay, we should have started off with that. Yeah. Okay, so, yes, he gives up. I feel good. What is up? Another trainer right here. Three years ago, Team Rocket was forced to disband. But we're making a comeback here. Mm, okay. wonder what happened three years ago. Are you sure I don't remind you of that person? I'm just asking. So, here comes Grimer. A, uh, 
a Pokemon that looks a little bit like a booger. And, well, since Bite did good in the last episode... It, it, it's doing good here. Look at that. It made him flinch. So, here we go. Finish him off. Bite attack. And just like that, bam, finally level 30 for Hera. Never thought it would be a little harder. And Hera's learning Faint Attack, so let's go right ahead and switch out Bite for the Faint Attack. For those who don't know, Faint Attack here is still a move that never misses. And it's a very, very powerful move. So let's go right ahead and start switching out. Let's go to Fluff Bolt. Let's start shucking everybody. Let's make everyone pay. And... There we go, Flood Bolt. How's it going? Let's get a Thunder Punch. See how that works. And Grimer doesn't survive. Okay, so that's another Pokemon down. And, well, let's see. What do we got? A Muck. Okay, so Muck, you're going to be facing a Serpentera right here. Okay, all right, Muck. Bring it. And... Let's go, Dig Attack, and that Pound Attack, not doing so much. So here you go, Dig Attack, Muck, I hope you say your final wishes right here. Here comes the Dig Attack. And that finishes up Muck. Alrighty, alrighty. Teamwork, it usually works. <laughs> Don't get cute. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm adorable. We won't let you ruin our plans for our comeback. Mm. They say that, but, you know, they never really do anything about it. Okay, let's switch it out to Chico. Alright, let's go. So who's next? Uh, definitely not him. We gotta beat these guys first, because these scientists always have, uh... Scientists always have some skill type Pokemon with them. You know, it's definitely a change. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on coughing and uh, well, I can still hold my own right here. So Echico is here, body slam, just like Razor Ramon. And oh, nearly defeats him. And here comes a sludge attack. This could hurt us a little bit. And it is super effective right there. Poisoned. Let's go, body slam. Nobody poisons the Chico right here. And there you go. 280 points, we are at level 35, and Lucky gets some more points because, you know. So, let's go right ahead and go for Separatera right here because, well, you know, we don't want to get poisoned anymore. And, you know, steel type Pokemon can't get poisoned. Well, it, it can't get poisoned right here. It will, it will have to take, like, what? Seven, like, okay, we're in generation two right here. Probably like five more generations. I don't know. Comment down below. What's that Pokemon that we have? Yeah, it's that Gecko Pokemon. It actually can poison a Steel type Pokemon, believe it or not. And, well, they're going to be coming out with a Zubat. So, let's go. Mm hmm. There it is. And here comes the Thunder Punch. For the win! That is how you do it! Oh yeah. Feeling great. Feeling on top of the world right now. And, well, he's gonna be coming out with another ratata -ta -ta. So, Kakuna Matata. Let's go for... Eh, screw it. Let's go for Chico. I know we're poisoned, but... We'll take care of that. You know, we're not... We're not... We're not... We're not bad trainers. Alrighty. Here we go, Body Slam, before this quick attack, okay. So here we go, and just like that, Body Slam does the trick, and yes, we have defeated the Rocket Crown. What? Mm-hmm. I failed in my duties. <laughs> he said duties. I'll be docked by a pay for this. Wait, you mean they actually pay you? Holy crud. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it really is. Alright, let's use one of these Poison Cure Berries, and bam, there we go. Pokemon is is now cured, and uh, well, let's give a little something, something right here. Alright, who's next? It feels great ordering Pokemon to do to commit crimes. 
So, one of the biggest things that always gets me playing, you know, any kind of Johto-based games is this whole, you know, this whole part right here. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Team Rocket, uh, the Team Rocket uh, Radio Tower Invasion. Did they make it? Hold on. Damn it. Yeah, the whole Team Rocket Invasion uh, thing, it's just, uh, it's quite annoying, and this guy is being annoying, trying to, yeah, trying to get me blind and all that stuff, because it knows I'm about to throw rocks at it. Alright, let's go dig a deck. He's like looking at him, he's like, I will see you in a little bit. And self-destruct, really, bro? <laughs> and Serpentero could have survived that, but it, yeah. And Lucky, of course, mooching off of us. There we go! Alright. You're kidding! Yeah, you kind of did that on your own, homie. You get lousy over losing! Darn it, I hate useless Pokemon. You necessarily have useless Pokemon, I'm just saying, you could have just, you know, not self-destruct. I mean, I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and battle these guys. Two trainers Pokemon are their beloved partners. It's terrible how Team Rocket is trying to control Pokemon. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. An unknown shadow wandering here? Who are you? Hmm. So, like I was saying, this 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 whole section right here always gets me because of the amount of Pokemon trainers that are put in every floor. I'm I'm thinking like an upwards of five five trainers per. And then like half those trainers usually come out with at least five Pokemon, and it's like Man, this is going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of time, and don't forget in the remakes, they kind of like switched it up where like, you know, kind of switched it up with, uh, with, with a few things, so it's like, ah, uh, yeah, it's still annoying. And here I am thinking that, well, you know, maybe one of those hat games should be uh, Pokemon GS Chronicles, and they probably have this too, so I can never escape Team Rocket. Ugh. Ugh. Alrighty, and look at that. Hera is having a having a festival right here against Mark. He's coming out with Magnemite, so let's continue on with the same old move that won him a few consecutive uh, consecutive battles right here. And just like that, Magnemite has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And Scientist Mark, yes, defeated himself. Okay, he took me lightly. Let's see what you have to say. <laughs> I can transmit a strong signal as I need from here. Oh. Now, here's the other portion that we need to get to. Unfortunately, we do not have a card key. We have to actually go look for it. The Team Rocket boss has locked himself in. But the director can open it. He's up in the fifth floor. Please save him. And I think we're in... Okay, please tell me we're in like the third floor or something. I don't even know. Yes, it looks like we're in the fourth floor right here. Let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's see. Togepi needs a little loving. It needs a lot of loving. That's why it evolves. And... Oh, wow. You plan to rescue the director? That won't be possible because I'm going to beat you. Hmm. Cocky little guy. Alright, so here we go. Taking on a grunt. And he is going to be coming out with his Zubit right here. Okay, Togepi, I wish you would have, I wish you would, you would have a psychic move, but yeah, that's not going to be possible until like way, way later on. So here comes a psych, or here comes fly attack, and just like that, Zubat has been defeated. So Togepi is becoming a little bit more formidable with its flying technique right here, and well, here comes a Golbat. Let's go ahead and save that for somebody else. Let's go for a Flip Bolt. Alright, what's up? Okay, alrighty. There we go. Let's go right ahead and use Thunder Punch. And... There we go. There we go, okay. And, well, let's see. There we go, increasing it. And just like that, we're going to be taking on a Grimer. So let's go to Serpentera. I'm, I'm actually loving the fact that, you know, I can use a Steel-type Pokemon in Generation 2. Except for the whole Magnemite kind of deal. That was actually the plan! Using Magnemite, but I thought to myself, hey, 
Why not use native Pokemon? That should be more fun. It should be. And Grimer tried to use Disable. And here comes the dig attack. Yes, Serpentera. Doing Serpentera things. And there we go. We have defeated another Grunt. And he's like, no, unbelievable! Uh huh. Okay, look what do you have to say? I don't believe it! I was beaten. Believe it. Alright, so that is a scientist, I believe. So, the best course would have to be go to Hera. And I am so glad my Pokemon are up to the level 30s now. Most excellent! This radio tower will fulfill our grand design. So apparently, the radio tower has a special meaning to these Jagnobs. So, here comes Rich. And he's coming out with a Porygon. This is new. Porygon, for the first time being used in any kind of play. Let's go ahead and go for a faint attack. That's right, it will never miss. And... Oh, it takes half its HP. And here comes a Tri-Attack. I really like Tri-Attack. It's just, it's pretty awesome. Alright, let's go. Headbutt. I could have used Rock Smash. It is still a normal type Pokemon. Yeah. And here comes its conversion to, so that's going to be a little too late. And it transformed into a ghost type, so you messed up, homeboy. You messed up. That's right. Look at that. It transformed into a ghost type. And here, uh, yes, stronger than a ghost type. Yes. Hmm. Ultra implants that come with snags. Yes, they do. All right, let's see. Do you honestly believe you can stop Team Rocket? Yes, I can. I can stop Team Rocket anytime I can. And, well, let's go ahead and go to Flavoot right here. And please tell me this is the fourth floor. Yes, fifth floor right here. Y you came to, s to rescue me. Is that what you were expecting? Wrong. I'm an imposter. I pretended to be the real thing to prepare for our takeover. Do you want to know where we hid the real director? Sure, I'll tell you. But only if you can beat me. Yeah, okay. Bring it on. So, here we go. Another rocket executive. And he is not kidding around because he's got himself some level 30 Pokemon right here. Me too. Let's go with strength. There we go. Upsie Daisy. Hit fan Pokemon. And it nearly beats Kick Offing, but here comes a smoke screen attack, which. Of course, we'll blind us a little. Alright, let's go with the Thunder Punch. There we go. And defeats Coughing, yes. Alrighty, and you gotta love those experience points right there. Alright, who's next? Let's see, coming out with the Coughing. Let's go with Serpentera. Serpentera, time to destroy these guys right here. Yeah, buddy, okay. Look at this. Serpentera is looking pretty, pretty awesome. Let's go with a dig attack. I love, again, I love the way how Serpentera just like digs down with that mean face, knowing that it's gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna destroy you in the next round. Bam. And look it, looky, looky, say good. Oh wow, nearly defeats coughing and really? Oh, that that was a critical hit. Wow. Okay. Never mind. So here comes an Iron Tail attack. Yes. Iron Tail for the win! There we go. It's the only time I'll ever say that, probably. <laughs> and Lucky grows to level 32. And, well, he's gonna be coming out with a coughing himself. Let's go give... Let's go spread the love a little. Let's go to Togepi. Alright, bring it on. Togepi, how's it going? Togepi flies. Alright, coughing. And, yes, I knew it. They were gonna do a smoke screen, so here comes... Fly attack for the win. Uh oh. Okay, alright, so I may have messed up just a little bit right there. But not to worry. Let's see, we got a metronome. Please hit it with something. Mud slap. Yeah, okay, I'll take that, but that that, that was not enough. And of course, Coving is gonna try and blind us, so let's go ahead and use Swift. Obviously, Swift will not miss. And yeah, this, this, yeah, you, you can keep on blinding us, homeboy, but you'll never defeat Togepi. Yeah, me sipping on some water. Mm -hmm. Hydrate, guys. Always hydrate. 
and oh crap basket. Sludge attack hits us and no no way. So there we go. Copying. Defeated. Yes, sir. Okay, so here comes another coughing. Let's go right ahead and give Lucky a little bit of love. Bring it. I wish a Pokemon could come out and say that. Like, bring it. And, well, let's see. Ice Punch looks good. Man, I, lo I love the fact that in Generation 2, you can actually get the, the elemental punches. Not like the other, not like the other generations where they they swapped that. I mean, come on, it's like a very good thing. One of my favorite things in the whole Generation Two series. And well, here comes another Ice Punch. Yes, say goodbye. Alrighty, and Lucky, you get some more points right there. And you're about to come out with a coughing. So let's go right ahead and go with Chico. Oh yeah, Chico. Bring it. Okay. Chico, body slam. And body slam. Nearly does his thing, but here comes a, a smoke screen. Like, seriously, guy, hit me. You're trying to blind my Pokemon, but yet you're. Yeah, never mind. I'm not even going to complain on strategy right there. So, that defeats Coughing. There goes another one. And here we go with another a wheezing. Okay. So who hasn't been used? I think Hera. Yeah, let's go with Hera. Maximum effort. You can try you can try your hardest to, to beat it, but you won't. And well bring it. Let's go. Ember attack. Now another thing another thing too that I found in like other hack games, guys, and you've probably seen this while I was playing them, the gas type. You know, apparently Weezing was a gas type. And I asked this question a few episodes ago where, like, if, po if Nintendo were to come out with new typings, what other types do you think should come out aside from, like, the supposed sound type? Oh, crap. We're both dying. <laughs> Alrighty, finish it. There we go. Hera. Finish it. Mike? My suggestion would be, like, somewhat of a gas type, but it wouldn't be called gas. Okay, okay, I'll tell you where he is. Hmm. We stashed the Dereal Director in the under underground warehouse. It's at the far end of the underground. But I doubt you'll get that far. Yes. We got the basement key. Alrighty. We stand. Oh, okay, so he's, he's, he's still talking. But yeah, I, I was just saying that, you know... If there was a gas type, it would have to be... I don't know. I don't know about... I, I Actually, I really can't picture, like, gas types coming in here. Anything like that, because it's like, okay, gas types is kind of... You, you, you're kind of taken away from, like... Let's see, you're, you're taken away from... Ghost types, poison types, and all that stuff. So that really just... It, it, like, you know, if that were to happen, then the gasoline line would be... All gas type, not ghost and poison, so they kind of, yeah, I kind of solved my own mystery right there. Holy crud. Anywho, yes, we are victorious. We destroyed every single one of you guys. And now, in the next episode, we're going to be going straight to the underground basement. We're going to be taking care of business right there. In the meantime, yes, we're going to be taking a small break, healing our Pokemon, some boo boos, and all that stuff. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel to keep this whole place running and all that crud, yes. Links in the description below. There's a hard button right there. If you guys want to join our channel for some exclusive Pokemon walkthroughs that members can only get, you can sign up right here onto the channel. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go into the underground path to save the director. See you guys.